Hey folks, I'm Trevian Glory, and welcome to part 15 of my Peninsular campaign in Napoleonic Total War 3. Uh, last time out, Wellesley here got to grips with a French army commanded by Mortier and managed to wipe it out. Uh, so, plan is for both our armies uh, to link up. We've got Beresford, who absorbed Granville Payne's army, and we've got another couple of units here to come in and join them. Uh, so we'll bring Beresford over to link up with Wellesley, and then we'll push east. Uh, once we get up around here, I might send Wellesley after Barcelona and Beresford up to Saragossa, but we'll get them linked up to start with. And what I'm thinking about is... Suspense is killing me. Yeah, I'm, so I think I might... Transfer out a couple of cav units into the Spanish division, if you like, and bring in the extra infantry. I think I'm going to do that. I just want to have more line troops. Not that it's line troops that are there, I suppose, though. We've got light infantry and skirmishers. Yeah, okay. I think we'll do that anyway. Um, so that's the armies. Uh, we're making a wee bit of money just now, partly from disbanding some of the Spanish troops, but mostly from scuttling a couple of ships. So having fought a sea battle uh, against the French, against one merchantman, we managed to win that. And I've decided to save some cash. I'm not going to do any more uh, naval engagements. Did have this uh, fleet, as it was at the time, raiding the trade route here, but the French don't have any trade. We'd have to head up towards Barcelona to get any more trade from, uh, any income from trade. So what I'm going to do, get this ship linked up here. Uh, so at the moment we get 25 military supplies so get this ship back into that fleet, that will give us 46 supplies. Uh, I had detached that ship to go over to the North, North American trade node over here, but you only get 12 supplies from that, so that quite reduced our income. Right, and agents. We don't need you there any longer, so you head over towards there. You... What's the... Portugal. Well done, Portugal. Uh, so don't really need to keep an eye on that reinforcement route either now. So we'll move you over into this sort of area. And we'll push you up towards Barcelona. This guy's been backwards and forwards, north and south. Uh, yeah, bring over there. You head east as well. We'll just send you up there. It's not really much use in there. I'll just give myself plenty of vision because uh, this guy here will send up. I'll send up here. That's fine. I'd expect Fran uh, Spain's going to push up there. But that's one of the main routes for French reinforcements from Barcelona. Okay. So that is done. Let's move on. More French reinforcements coming up from Barcelona. They come out every turn, one or two units. Right. 
Then we have our technological advance. Uh, now, do I want to research the Gorilla Training Network? It gives us extra experience and replenishment. Call to arms, I think, is yeah, reduced recruitment costs and training methods will be increased experience. Local guides, probably movement range, yep. Anti French sentiment. I don't think any of these are actually much use now. We're pushing a French bank so quickly that that doesn't really make any difference. Um, I'm not recruiting, I don't really have the cash to recruit. But then it might count for Spanish units that rise up when we liberate cities. 12 turns though. We'll just take this because it's only 5 turns. Okay, let's get Paris for Dover. I mean, I suppose I could transfer in some of these units to Wellesley's army. Might do that eventually, but I want to push ahead just now anyway. I like Beresford to catch up. You join up with him. We'll send our Spanish over to about there for now. And then Wellesley, you can come over and make the attack. Um, I think I'll just have to resolve this one because it went so heavily in my favour. I thought that they they moved some units in there. I guess it was the just the two militia units. Anyway, let's have to resolve and then liberate once again, and we get another couple of skirmisher units. I was hoping for some light infantry. It's a general. Um, Hello? I think I'd rather keep Juan Martin. I don't suppose you can reach round here. Maybe you can. Okay, so I'll disband him. I'm losing 146. Well, wait a minute, let's get the Navy. Another merchant fleet sorted out. 526. Positive income now. So I can afford to keep him. And I think we'll do that just for the moment. It looks like... It's, well, it's a general's unit rather than a cavalry unit. I think we'll just disband him. If it was proper cav, I would keep them, but it's Your not. Humble, yes, sir. The Lord. I think I would like to get another British line unit in here. So, no, you can't. Okay, so, we'll see, I might bring Beresford over. I think we'll put one more British line infantry unit in here. And this Cazadores unit. Transfer out to Cav, actually. No, I think we'll put the Cav, hang on, let, I might, I think I'm going to have this Spanish division operate with Beresford. I could just go with the two armies, but I do like, I so like having the notion of a separate core. Yeah, okay, we'll get that sorted out eventually. Um, fleets of, well, the merchant fleet's moved. This fleet down here is just going to stay put. 226. And we got another 544. Coming in. So next turn, hopefully, we 
I should be able to... Yeah, we'll get the merchant house here. Because we a bit more income again. Right, agents. Quickly through them. You march up there. You can just stay where you are. So can you view head in towards Saragossa? Yeah, you keep heading over that direction. That's everyone, I suppose. So let's end the turn. We've got it's not that big a French army here. They've, I think they split units off, sent them down here. Okay, let's move move on. A stack coming out from Barcelona. Right. Five star general there. I don't know who he is though. Let's get Beresford over. You come over here. And let's bring in Pontius Pilate's bodyguards. Yeah, let's bring them in here. No, hang on. Done that the wrong way around. Yeah, I need to do this first. Maybe keep the light dragoons in the army. So you, you could go out. And I want to bring these guys in. Try this again. Let's Diaz again. Better. So, you know, bring them in. We'll go with that. We'll move you forward. And as I said, we'll have these two armies operate together. We've got 770. So let's get this merchant house under construction. Under agents. It's really just you that I need to keep moving now. You keep me there to keep an eye on that. Let's push you up close to Saragossa and keep an eye on that bridge. Bring you over here. Keep an eye on that crossing. We'll go with that. Let's move on. Borders. Spanish take Saragossa. Oh. Uh, the Portuguese, sorry, took Saragossa. Well, they didn't. It was the Spanish. Okay, so any idea of what we have in here? Still not really. 
But we'll go ahead and we'll make the attack. Uh, just send Wellesley in on his own, I think. Okay, so they've got their five armed citizen units. We've got a few units of camp. But really. I suppose half their force is made up of provisional hussars, uh, provisional infantry, militia. Yeah, I'm going to fight it anyway. Just want to have a battle. So we'll assault, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pause the video, set up my forces, and then come back for the start of the battle. So see you soon. Okay, folks, so here's our army. We have uh, four brigades of infantry, our cav over on the left, and our artillery over on the right. Uh, so the infantry, we've got a Portuguese brigade here and another here with some skirmishers attached. Uh, we've got a British brigade over on the right flank, again with skirmishers, and another British brigade uh, back in reserve. Uh, artillery over here on a slight rise. Uh, it's not the most ideal of locations, but it does hopefully give us some sort of field of fire. Uh, there's a ridge of high ground here that I would push forward to and that would hopefully give us a, a better shot into where I think the French positions are and our cab over in the left hand flank so uh, with that I suppose we should just go ahead and start the battle so the French are set up in the woods to the left there so let's bring our British brigade up uh, secure that ground I want to move the artillery to, push the Portuguese forward in the centre and this brigade up towards the French. So just got the general staff in view at the moment but it looks like the French are pull pulling back from the defensive positions. And I wonder if the artillery can see that. It doesn't look like it. It looks like the, you can't see over the high ground. I'm not shooting at the general, I don't think. Can't quite click on him. I wanted to try and see if it was in missile fire, but no, the artillery's, uh, they're not shooting at the moment. So we'll just march the, artillery, the infantry forward. Uh, we might eventually get a shot on something up there, if they push forward at all. But if we come over here, still not the best line of fire. Um, I don't know if it's worth moving up there right now. And there's still um, this high ground there blocks the, the line of sight. So French appear to be moving in there but I don't think they're coming forward. So we'll just keep moving up uh, towards the road. And the cav Let's uh, push you forward a bit, just to threaten the flank. You guys... Are the French... No, I thought I, could, I thought I saw movement forward there, but no. Uh, so let's get the skirmishers across the road, line up in the scrub there. And these guys, they can go up onto this bit of high ground here. Try and get some better vision of what the French are up to. Still no sign of any forward movement, so maybe they're staying put for once. This might be a better place to sight the cannon, but I didn't want to be shooting through the trees there. Let's get the cav up again, try and get some better sight on what's going on. You guys, let's move you forward further. Get the skirmishers up on top of the hill and get the infantry, the line infantry across the road. You guys keep pushing forward. There, do it. 
There was some fire there. Did my artillery spot something? What is that in there? That's just the general's unit. So what did... It didn't shoot at them. So I, I wonder if that's... That looks like smoke rather than dust. Ah, there we go. French artillery. So what are you guys shooting at? I presume it was you that fired. What can you see? I guess they're shooting over here. Anyway, let's keep the advance going. Let's get you up over the road. To about there. You guys coming forward, armed citizenry. So the skirmishers should be able to take care of them on their own. Uh, but let's get the line infantry prepared to meet them. Um, so stop what you're doing and we will get you into line. This, it would have been better if there was a, a button that you could click the button and convert them into a, a three rank line rather than having to sort of spread them out this way. But never mind. I like how they, they do model the movement of the different sections into position. Let's get our skirmishers up on top of this hill so they can engage the enemy. And we'll do the same over here. Nice flank position. And you need to move forward. Let's do you. Um, let's get into three exact ranks. We'll do the same here. A bit shorter about that. And you. Uh, let's angle you slightly. Okay, these other guys crossed over. What's this? French uh, Provisional Hussars. Okay, so let's get you into line. Keep an eye on that cavalry manoeuvring behind the forest. And we can get these regiments into line and then get them into square if that cavalry does move forward. We can get our own cav to attack them, not while they're in the woods. If they come out of there, doesn't look like they are. They might head for the infantry though, so let's get... Oh, you can't go into square. So, uh, you two into square and you pull back a bit. Doesn't look like the calves coming out anyway, it's staying in that forest. So, uh, turn to face. And we'll get our own calf ready there to counter charge if need be. And over here... Uh, skirmishers are engaged, but none of the other uh, infantry are. And artillery, there it is. Uh, it looks like you're still not engaging. No, okay, so you uh, limber up and we'll get you further forward. So still only the skirmishers in the battle. Maybe move these guys further forward now. Just a bit wary of that cav still around. This brigade, let's manoeuvre you around to the flank. No, uh, not skirmishers, sorry. You guys stay where you are. Uh, the French are coming forward, but it's just the armed citizenry there, so they're not probably going to be doing too much damage. We'll get these guys back into lane. Although that cav must still be in the forest somewhere. So maybe keep the other regiment still in square, just in case. Uh, but the infantry here, let's just get you, well, uh, yeah. Get everybody into line. Uh, we'll rely on our own cav to deal with the enemy should it come up, and these guys can crest this hill and engage the enemy. Let's get you formed up again with your Companions there. And our calf. Their calves manoeuvring over to the right flank. We'll move you guys up. You can maybe sweep in from the left. And let's get the, this brigade to move forward. That calf still battles and forwards there. Okay. 
let's have you stop there. And you, and you, uh, well, they've, they've stopped again, the cow. Let's keep pushing in. Uh, maybe move the skirmishers over to the flank and get our line infantry to take on some of this battle. Uh, this brigade, let's get you up here and uh, not in that format. Um, try again. You, no. Let's group up. That's it. Yeah, you come up to there. Uh, there. Skirmishers will move across. Uh, let's get you forward. You should have been forward already. And get you uh, further up. So you've got vision. Ah, the regiment on the right you can finally see them. So you keep moving forward uh, slightly in that direction. And then you. Uh, we need to turn a wee bit in that direction. Okay, just to separate out the two brigades here so that everyone can engage. You're a bit muddled up, so let's get you forward there and swing you to face. You come up a bit further so that you can get into combat. And the skirmishers uh, push you in, maybe send you in after the artillery actually. My own artillery, where is it? I've not moved up yet. Um, I don't know, over here might be a bit better. So they're shooting onto the reverse slope of that hill rather than trying to shoot over it. And get Wellesley forward. Uh, the French are sticking to their forest. Let's get you into a bit better position. Let's see. Who's somebody's running? Um, yeah, they're sort of staying put. Not the greatest line of sight, but. How about them, boys? Portuguese troops have done well in the battles so far. Certainly look the part. And you a bit further back. And let's get you up to there. The skirmishers. Um, let's get this brigade moving in a bit closer. The calf charging in there against our skirmishers, that's not great. Uh, hopefully the volley fire from our line infantry will be enough. The morale's down. Uh, you turn and face, let's get you guys moving forward. I don't think we need to form square the French calf. Looks like morale's going to break. Uh, run calf over here, let's get you moving forward. You can uh, go after the general and the uh, French artillery. More people in trouble. Well, still the skirmishers, but uh, yeah, the French, their, their morale's broken as well, so that's okay. Right. Uh, make sure you're in skirmish mode. There's still other cavalry milling about in there, but we just need to hope for the best with that for now. I want to push up, get this infantry falling back. You come up here as well. And you need to change your facing. You're too far back now, so you start pushing forward. That cab is also broken. I should really have put the this brigade into square, but never mind. Artillery, you're still on the march. I they're tired. You've not done anything. So the French cav is definitely going. And uh, forgotten completely about my reserve. Let's get you up. And let's begin over here. Yep, you. Uh, let's get you round in behind. Skirmishers pushing as well. Let's get the artillery attacked. 
we come up to there. Okay, so you just keep battering away at the infantry there. You, uh, let's get you formed up into three proper lines again, the three ranks. I uh, can do the same here, just to take account of the losses they've had, and the same with you. Okay, let's get you fine tuned. It would have been great to have the artillery in place to shoot into that mass. But didn't have the opportunity. So some of the French are finally beginning to break. The rest of them are pushing forward. Uh, just more meat into the grinder, I think. But we've got you pretty much enveloped now. So we've got two brigades here in the front. We've got another brigade around the right rear. We've got Cav in the rear standing doing nothing actually. And attack general staff if you would. Now there's Cav coming round to envelop the infantry as well. And there goes the general. Okay, let's have you pull out from there. And get their infantry here lined up just to shoot the fleeing French troops. Okay, the skirmishers push forward into the trees. Uh, a lot of red here in the French morale. Maybe send the cav in. Um, attack the armed citizenry. Not great charging through trees, obviously, but never mind. Another artillery. Do you have any targets? Uh, the French first now, so let's just push right forward, uh, make them run the gauntlet, there's the victory, heroic victory, um, 205 losses, 10 to 1, not too bad, liberate as usual, and again, Spanish troops, I think, disband the general's unit, We've got plenty of these guys already in that core. So I think we'll just this guy, he's got a lot of a lot of stars. Um but he's got a decent amount as well and he's served as well. Let's move you forward. Bring Berthold up as well. I can't move, of course. So can you get around here? No. Um, what do we have? We disband the general. You guys... Money's not great. Skirmishers only, obviously. Uh, 180 range and accuracy. Accuracy is slightly better. But there's not a huge amount of difference. No. Uh, so we've only got the sixty men here, obviously. Yes. Let's maybe add those guys in. Okay. So I think I'm going to put a break in here, and we'll pick this up again next time out. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And hope to see you again next time. Cheers.